Good morning, fans of Privateer FX. Coming at you 22 September. Quiet, quiet overnight. Interesting day yesterday. A uh, little commentary on yesterday, I guess. Worthwhile. Well, let's go to EM first because that was the most important. Dollars are. Wow. Um. 65 handles, right? From 27 up to 95. This uh, 17, the figure, huge, huge region. This should go sideways a little bit, but eventually we should attack this. Um, big, big day in dollars are. Uh, it was a risk off day, but the risk on at the end of the day, the 50 handles that we jumped. Uh, was not really was not really seen in dollars are dollars are still on its knees um, very very low still in the scheme of things uh, surely we think I mean not surely but we think this thing's gonna trade 20 um, maybe even this year so we'll have to see how this goes uh, quietly uh, core long dollars are we'll see dollar max same story slightly different result 2117 was the bingo number we talked about it all last week uh, 17 yielded 57 40 handles that was a good two percent then we had a little bit of uh, Sodom and Gomorrah on the way back so uh, 20 handle retrace in fact uh, We had bids overnight at 30. Obviously, those didn't get done. Um, down to 31, so 20, 27 handle retrace. Not quite as powerful uh, as the dollars are chart, but still pretty powerful. Uh, and the equivalent of 17, the figure, is this trend line. Uh, the, the, so the dollars are new bingo number now, bull bear, big bull bear line, 17, the figure. This trend line, which is descending, so it goes lower every day, is now at 71. Not in play for today, I don't think. Um, but interesting, nonetheless. Let's keep an eye on this. Two big days uh, in sort of the EM. Two big moves in the, in the EM space there. Euro also tickling... Um, Tickling this this bingo line, 117.10. I thought once we got down through 50, even though it was the fix, which is uh, Bozo the Clown time, I thought we might uh, take a hack at this either overnight or today. Still looks like we might take a hack at it today. Um, this is the fear trade, so this is the liquidate everything trade. Or if you if you know what I mean, so equities will probably have to go lower for this to work. Um, equities have bounced, as you know. So keep your eye on the equity space. Keep your eye on the EM space for dollar bullishness there. Uh, we'll see how this thing goes. It could go either way. So there's no pre-trade here. You just have to wait for the level. The other interesting chart yesterday, of course, was gold. We talked about. Um, We talked about a lot of things. We talked about this line here at um, 32. Once it broke that, it was kind of a, a waterfall, right? 32 down to 70, uh, 86. The new uh, bull bear line is 74. There will be similar trading as yesterday through 74. You saw it yesterday. It was pretty heavy selling. A lot of the... Um, sort of rookies who first decided to own gold above 2,000 um, were puking. Reminds me of puking Bitcoin this year. Um, on that move down to 6,000, I was long a little bit too much in the nine handle. So, I mean, when I say rookies, we're all rookies at some point. Uh, we all over leverage 
or don't deeply think about what we're doing on some point with some instrument. So I'm not being a haughty cunt. Um, just saying, it is what it is, rookies, weak hands, whatever you want to call it. They all puked <clears throat> down to 1886. Sideways action looks likely. This could go either way now. Obviously, at 86, uh, there was some decent support there. This, again, is following equities. So as equities plunge, there's liquidation. That's when the crowded markets have to jump. Let's go to equities. Down to 32.20. Uh, kind of interesting because this 31.95 level is kind of interesting. We're expecting some sideways action. This could easily go back to 33. I don't know, 33.10. I don't think it's going to get a, get above um, 33.26, but it could. Uh, very neutral close, right? So bearish. The stories are all bearish. The fraud, the fraud at the electric uh, truck maker. Uh, the fact that GM owns a shitload of that, that he fooled all these people. Um, you know, it's very Madoff-esque. Uh, if you remember what happened when, when there was uh, liquidations and and all kinds of uh, all kinds of tomfoolery with Madoff, all kinds of tomfoolery with LTCM, uh, which was also I wouldn't say a fraud, but just ill-conceived. Enron, uh, we could. This story goes on and on. Um, usually, big waterfall down movements are accompanied by some sort of big fraud story. Uh, so, let's keep an eye on it. Uh, I don't, I don't know anything really about the company. I don't follow it. I don't trade it. Uh, so, you know, that was part of the story, though. Definitely yesterday. Cable. This is now a very interesting level here down at 60. We traded down to um, 127.75 yesterday. Really just hard, hard work going up. Big red bars all over the place. Um, 127.60. This should go if or when Euro breaks 117.10. Uh, there'll be some money to be made uh, with both of those charts. Dollar Swiss got up to 71. Uh, if you're truly a psychopath, this is your uh, currency because I don't understand it. And I think maybe only you need some sort of psychopathic tendencies to understand this, this currency. I, I fucking live in the country. I don't understand it. Um, anyway, the chart says 92 cents is important. But of course, if it's risk off, Euro Swiss is going to go down, and God knows, God knows what's going to happen. Uh, dollar Swiss, don't ask me. Uh, dollar Yen, that was a weird bar yesterday. This one, boom, eighty-five paid. Ring the bell, wow, wow, wow. Uh, that was painful for a lot of people. We faded this at sixty. Uh, dicked around with it uh, and then just kind of grabbed cash with it didn't didn't do much but I can tell you now this which doesn't make a whole lot of sense uh, 104.85 is kind of an interesting chart point uh, I do like dollar yen down to 100 myself um, but you know we look both ways in this business one of the reasons um, that we make money 98% of our money trading FX versus other instruments is and in FX it's very easy to look both ways stocks it's harder you know there's a directional bias to stocks um, other assets it's harder to look both ways people gold it's hard you know although we we like to look both ways in gold but um, even though our bias is for lower dollar yen uh, there'll be money to be made at 104.85, so keep in mind, look both ways. Dollar CAD, bang. 65 was not clean. 
that was kind of the bull bear line once we once we hourly closed above it it was pretty clear sailing um dollar cad looks bad but it's just a reflection of euro so let's see quickly bitcoin um back lower a little bit well i didn't even see that wow 10,200 this got caught in the liquidation trade i was busy doing other stuff yesterday obviously uh gold was on the frontal lobe this is the same liquidation chart oh my everything the sky's falling let's sell everything um we'll be looking to pick up some of this if this move continues um between 9,800 uh, and 8,000 so that's like it's a cool 15 percent buy zone uh, but bitcoin got ripped very similar to the gold chart um and the s p chart i was looking for something else down here oh yeah zb not too much going on if you sold high ones yesterday you got paid uh on the tactical book we do this pretty much every day um i don't know if technicals even work on zb it's really just a story trade here stick an offer in up top you know today we have 28s we have 14s um and we have uh 28s on one, the 177 handle just lonely offers up there uh while this consolidates there'll be some more meat in this story um two handles lower anyway time's up here listen looks like it's going to be a slow uh open here no reason to dive in on the tactical book uh long dollar czar long dollar max looks decent uh, and we'll be watching very closely about these euro and these cable levels today they could go good luck out there people talk to you tomorrow